yeah, bushcraft today, so ball drill, nice little pot hanger, set up on fire, get a brew on, etc. So stick with these and uh, it's a fancy method, so you might like it, you know what I mean? Once it's made, it's, uh, it's bob on for, the, for an overnight camp and if you're going to do a fair bit of cooking, it's great. Right, stick with these. Yeah, so for this pit, for a fire pit, we're going to light, uh, light a fire soon. But to bang in the pot on, we need uh, four components really. I need to find a piece like that that comes back on itself, so it's shaped, so it's shaped in a hook. I'm going to get rid of these little bits in a minute. So we've got a hook. Yep. Then I need to cut a groove out so I can tie around that. So I want to tie around that, so I want it to stick to that, my rope, or whatever I'm using, my natural cordage. I'm going to use uh, a bit of root, yeah. So I'm going to use some root. I'm going to split that down a little bit and uh, make it a bit thinner. And then I'm going to use this root. But you could use paracoid or whatever you've got, yeah. So that, so that's one component. The next component is a fork stick, yeah. So I want a stick with a fork on the end, yeah. But along the length of that stick, I want a piece coming up. It sort of comes up, so it's square to that fork, yeah. And then same again. I've cut that out a little bit because I'm going to tie some cord round there, yeah. And this is going to be the business end. This is where my pot's going to hang. Do anything you want there, whatever you want to make your pot stick in it. I've just made a couple of different grooves depending where I want my pan. I could put another groove here and put a pan there, or whatever. Yeah. You might just want your pan hanging on the end. Whatever you want to do. Well, that's dead simple. Just a couple of them, so my pan just sits in there nice and easy. Yeah. So that's the third one. So I've got me uh, me hook. Yeah. Me uh, swivel pan holder, whatever you want to call it. Me crane. I've got me cordage, me rope, whatever. And then my final item is the stick. You know, something about a metre longer probably do it or uh, whatever you want, you can have it as high as you want. Probably above a metre really, but higher than, taller than a metre. This is, my, this is my walking stick, so I'm just going to use this today. One half's a bit, uh, I'm going to use this, this rounded side, so you want a nice round stick. Because what happens, when we set it up, this bit fits into that stick, and that needs to swivel, yeah? So we need that to start to be able to swivel around the stick. So you want a stick that's going to fit in here nicely, or a fork that's going to fit around your chosen stick nicely. You don't want a stick too thick. Yeah. Tell you what, it's quiet in this forest today. Absolutely amazing. It's just the birds. I can hear a bloody road though in the distance, a long way away, but. The UK, like uh, nowadays, there's not that many places where you can't hear a roaring distance. Yeah, you've probably got to get out of the way. I'll be up in mountains tomorrow, though. We'll do a bit of night navigation, the navigation practice. It's always good to keep on top of it. Yeah. No matter how many years you've been at mountains or whatever. Same with bushcraft skills. I'm going to do a ball drill in, in a minute. But uh, it's always good just to practice them, you know what I mean? It's no good being able to do a ball drill once. You've got to be able to do it lots of times. In lots of different uh, conditions. I mean, it's not, it's, it's, you know, you're not going to bloody use it, are you, unless you really have to. I use it, I use it because it's a hobby, you know. If I'm in an environment where I need to get a fire going quickly, I need to get myself warm. 
Oh, it's on. I'm going to use my bloody lighter. Yeah. And my ferrocerium rod or something like that. Floor drill is going to be one of my last options. But it's an hobby, innit? That's why we do it. It's a connection with our ancestors and with the past, innit? Yeah. It's all those skills that... Uh, that are a little bit lost that we as bushcrafters just like to practice don't we that's what it's all about people probably think we're nuts pissing about like me now why don't I just get a bit of cordage out of my pack instead of pissing about with a bit of a root part of it though innit we love it Right, so let's get it set up. So, we've knocked with Paul in, that my walking stick today. You can even have something higher than that if you want to negotiate the length, the height from the fire quite a, quite a bit. But uh, I banged my Paul in, so we're right with that. So, that's all you've got. You've got your uh, your V-shape on the bottom of your, uh, your stick. That's going to locate in there. And then your uh, your hook is going to hook round the top. So that in there, that on there. Pop your water on or your beef stew or whatever you've got, and you're all right. You want to lower it down. Just bring it down. Yeah. You want to air it up. Just lift that up. Lower it down. Lower that. When you're cooking, once it's boiling and you want to get it out of the way. Swing it to the side, there you are, and you can deal with it. Swing it back in, spot on. So, looking at it here, we've got a hook there, we've got a V. We're fastened on, we're fastened on, we've got a pan. Yep, so we can just swing it out of the way. Yep, bring it back in over the fire and we can just uh, adjust the height dead easy good bit of kit that isn't it i was down here with uh, a good friend of mine and my cousin as well simon oh when i say and my cousin as well he's a good friend and he's my cousin uh, i was down with him the other day great lad and uh, fantastic uh, woodsman and outdoorsman and he cut all these lo all these logs for me with his uh, I don't mind that way, but then I'll chop your foot off with these uh, silky zubat, I think it is. So, and we, I used this method the other day for the fire, but I didn't do any filming because you're busy chatting, aren't you, and what have you. Sometimes it's easier to do your filming when you're on your own. But he's a good lad. Talented. I'll do a video with him sometime. Talented woodsman. Talented carver. Artist. Bushcrafter. Photographer. Taxidermist. Canoe maker. Spoon carver, whatever, you, whatever, he can do it, whatever. So, 
I'll do a vid with him sometime. Show you some of his silky skills. Another good tip, while we're at it, splitting these. It's all very well splitting it the one way. Yep, so we've done that. We've got the two offs. Dead simple, really. It's always worth mentioning it, though. <clears throat> so if I go to split this now and I put it down that way, it's going to roll. So once you've split it in one, always put the other bit on the flat. Makes it miles easier to split. If I hit it like that, it's going to Potentially, it's going to roll like that. You see from here, like that. So always, once you split it once, put it on its flat. My bow drill kit, I'm going to use an old one. So, a bit of oak. I've had this for ages. Yeah, a bit of oak, rock hard that. I've had that for ages. Use that to catch me ember. Yeah, an old drill, so it should work. And an old base plate, bit of bank line, care of Mr. Mark Bailey, who sent me that ages ago, and I'm still using it, mate. So, cheers for that, top man. As always, get rid of this bit of a, a glaze on the business end. This is the end that I'm using to make me uh, me ember. Yeah. So I need to, you need to get rid of that glaze, always, every time, even if uh, first time it don't work, before you try your second time, just make sure you get rid of that glaze, this and your base plate, it don't matter about this end, that's the end that's going in here, so I'm not asked about that end, this is the one, the one where I need the friction. I don't know why Billy always feels the need. Once I start talking, he wants to he wants to get in front of me. Come on, Billy, mind out a minute, lad, while I do this. So tinder wise, I'm gonna use uh, this bracken. Yeah. So I'll get a big pile of that. And wrap it round my hand if I can. Round my hand, over the top, and I'm going to tuck that end in, that's going to be my tinder bundle, I'm going to have that, tuck some more in the bottom. Spot ready in the little pile. Right, so I'll transfer that now. This is the dodgy bit. Just getting this in. We out bloody totally wrecking it. Go for that. Honestly,
う。When you want to lower it down, I would just lower that top one. Yeah, I'll lower the actual V. Yeah, spot on. Swing it out. We want to move it out. Swing it in. We want to bring it in. Yeah, M2 coming in. Perfect. It's a great bit of kit, that, isn't it? Anyway, thanks for joining us in Forest this morning. I'm going to get a brew and a bit of scram on here now. And, uh, and I'll be up in mountains tomorrow. So stick with us, we'll do a little bit of night nav in mountains. Alright. Right. Bonnie spot, in it? Yeah. This is my sort of little bush camp. Yo, Bilson, where are you, lad? Ooh. Oh, he's yawning, he's yawning. Push your own camera. Good boy. Right, yeah, look after yourselves anyway. But hey, join us at Mountain. Stay, stay on. Because it's only a short, short bit, but uh, yeah, stick with us. Alright, see you in a bit. Ice on roads. Slight raise, isn't it? Stick it out. Yeah, yeah. Bit of navigation. <laughs> That's a bearing of 260 degrees southwest for me. Oh yeah, stunning, isn't it? It's gonna be some uh, some micro nav stuff, and uh, it's looking for a, for a little uh, bit of a bit of a knoll, if you will. I think this is the one here where it's sheep. Uh, uh, see me lad jacking distance there. We're both doing them. We're setting each other targets and uh, seeing if we can find them. What a tremendous day though today, eh? Up in Lake District. Absolutely bloody stunning it is. What are you thinking, big man? Bearing and everything and pacing leads the way of it's this. This is what I was thinking was the knob. You know, looking at just what things look like, I mean, you want to sort of go over there, but I don't think that's right. I think nah, bearing wise, it's here, isn't it? Yeah. Even the time back there, it seems to be exactly that way I'm filming. I was pacing thinking. Was exactly on here. I was thinking this is the end of the knob. Yeah. Where it comes down here. Yeah, yeah. It's sort of, um, and then you've got that bit of marshy ground. You can see that marshy ground with the with the boulder. Just below it, if you look there, that bit there. Just below it there, you've got yeah. a symbol for marshy ground, and then a boulder. You've got all this flat, flatter ground around it, haven't you? I know. And you've also got this significant sort of 
uh, dip yep. where the river's sort of going. You can see a little stream sort of forming down it, and if you look on the map, there's no, there's nothing else which would suggest there to be anywhere where that that's a natural place where water would run. And if you line it up from where we are, it points out that it's just like that. So you follow the contour from where we are at this height. If you was to follow this, it'd go round, and it it would. The, the contour would line up with all the features there. Yeah. And that sort of shape is the shape that, that that contour follows that we're that we think we're on. Yeah, it does. Uh. It's more if anything. You really, yeah, those bloody contours. And, like I say, you got this obvious sort of dip. Dip here. Just gonna put another layer on. Yeah, I mean you need stuff, it's cold, isn't it? Yeah. So I did uh, I took a back bearing, you know like you suggested. Yeah. But first one, first leg of it. Yeah. Then I didn't bother with the rest of it because it yeah. yeah, you look good at first, it was just that last bit I think you just wander off to it right I think. Yeah. Nice view of the ridge up onto Scarfell. Scarfell Pike over there. And then back round. That's the S coming down. Great Moss Valley. Little narrow cove. Alright Baz the lad, how's it going mate if you're watching? Yeah there's that uh, there's that mountain thing. You know what you said you thought were a tag in one of my other videos. There. So it's just uh, telling you your uh, how long it takes you depending how far you're going. Just timings. So makes it easier mate than having to remember them all in my head. So they're in there anyway. Just waiting for it to go deck. And we'll do a bit of night nav around here. Hey, sorry, right, done it. Scar fell over the here at distance. Yeah, he's spot on, eh? Jack there, chilling out. That's me instructor. That's me twenty. That's me twenty-three year old son. He's me mountain instructor. I taught him everything he knew until he was about sixteen. <laughs> now he teaches me everything he knows. <laughs> Head torch time. Get a bit of night nabbing done. That'd help, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah. So if, um, if we're there, yeah. if we go around to this here, this re entrant here, so you see the contour shape. Yep. Might not be that distinctive, but let's see if we can find in that. So we're looking for that more just, More there. just because, think about the way you're going to approach this, yeah, this re-entrance of this contour. Yep. Right. So we're just looking at stuff here, and uh, Jack was saying one tip. We've just found a re-entrance up here, doing night nav, and... Uh, was saying if we're going to get uh, another leg from here to find something else 
your best bet so you know exactly where you're at. You won't be able to see it here, but next to us there, if uh, we shine with torches, you still won't be able to see. There's a bit of a, there's a knoll there, yep. And we can see that on the map, that's a definite on the map. So you'd probably go to the top of that and take your bearing from that because then you're 100% sure where you're taking your bearing from because uh, we could be sort of anywhere we in this uh, re-entrant within reason but I mean we're pretty sure where we are mm. but that's what you'd do you'd go up there and take it from there and another big tip we're saying when you come over the crest of anything on a hill if you're following a bearing just stop and have a look around and try and uh, sort your map out with what you see on the ground as opposed to just uh, marching along on that bearing because quite often when you're slightly higher up you can see the lay of the land better so lift your head up and have a good butchers around you so we'll, go, uh, we'll make our way over to this cairn I think next <coughs> Not bad. I was about, uh, well, I can do better. About 30, 30 yards away. Holding a white out, that'd be a long way, wouldn't it? All oh, fun and games, eh? Good stuff, good practice. I was slightly to the side. I was slightly to the right. Yeah. About you, did you get it bang on her? Yeah, pretty well. Probably just only ever slightly to the left. We're we going in line with you, just yeah. landing on this bit rather than right. this bit. Yeah, no, we're just down there to the right. Not a bad spot, eh? Got some river bubbling by the side of us. Jack's van. Get some scran on eh? No, it was good that today, Jack. Yeah, no, right, wasn't it? I enjoyed it. Got plenty it done, didn't some, we? Yeah, yeah. You say it was just getting somewhere different and yeah. Get some decent navigation yeah, stuff yeah. done. Fancy a cheesy cracker while you're cooking. The road not too, wasn't it, eh? Mm. Looking mighty fine in it. That's what we got in there then, Jack. Chicken, uh, bit chicken, peppers, bit of, pepper, bit of onion, bit of, bit of tomato sauce, and pasta. There's plenty of it in there. Yeah. It's all right. That done it. That'll recharge the batteries, won't it? Eh. Nice. Bit of fuel in the engine. Don't you just love it, eh? Just being out, whatever. I know we're not wild camping, we're dossing it to uh, VW tonight and what have you. But uh, just being out here all day, sitting next to a river and a fire, and cooking your scran outside. Ah, it's amazing, isn't it? A great day. We love it, don't we, eh? Absolutely love it. Not a bad view to wake up to, is it? Okay. Morning. Morning. <laughs> Bit of a lie in that as well. <laughs> it's not exactly early man, I tell you, honestly. We're in the Duddon Valley here, we've uh, dropped down from Oidnock Pass over that way. Uh, this is the Duddon Valley, so uh, this little river, this is the River Duddon, this is the, this is the upper. So uh, you're looking at, uh, it's a quality river when it's running, low levels today. When this river's running it's grade, grade 4 all the way down really, all this top section with a few grade 5 sections. Wallabarra and uh, Troutle, so 
a cracking river and a cracking location. It's another cold day on top of mountains like so I'm gonna get up there anyway and uh, do a bit more uh, a bit more map reading and stuff. The Jack's funky kettle he got for his van for Christmas. Do the job. A bit funky that isn't it? Too funky for the fire. Not eight foot van no way. Not eight them little transporters, aren't they? Tell you what, best kip I've had for ages. So anyway, that's a little fire pit from last night. <laughs> Always good to use a fire pit in locations like this, uh, you know, or else you're just gonna leave bloody big burnt holes everywhere and what have you in ground. And uh, somewhere like this that you use on a regular in vans and stuff, you can fit a few tents here as well. You're better off using something like that. It's right then, isn't it? Keeps it uh, keeps it clear from these big burn holes. You can see there's one over here. Big burn hole there. What someone's had. But you can imagine if they were all over it, sure. It'd look a right shit tip, wouldn't it? So, anyway. Anyway, thanks for joining us. Anyway, well, I'll say I'm going to have a blast up at mountains again today. I might do a little bit more filming and what have you, but uh, I might not. Well, anyway. Thanks for joining us and uh, coming along for the ride. A little bit of night nav last night. A couple of little tips. Uh, and uh, a little bit of a look at Lake District. So, look after yourselves anyway. I think this is my first film of 2019. Uh, nice to see you again. Anyway, look after yourselves. Catch you in a bit. Ta-ra.